Hey there. This is Leah with All Things Cards. I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to anyone, dog. Okay. This is Leah with All Things Cards. Can you guess what we're working on today? I hate this part. It takes forever. One time I shook these things. The recommended time. And I ended up with gloppy stuff all over my paper that looked like, kind of like a... Uh, dried vomit. Okay. Anyway, I have the alcohol pearls. This one I have shaken without the lid on it. The red one I've shaken without the lid on it. You know how you normally would take your others, your regular alcohol inks, and you just kind of put them down with the lid kind of on it. But these ones you got to shake, so I accidentally pick it up and start shaking. Okay. I've been doing this for a while, and I'm really getting bored, so I got tired of sitting here alone. So I thought I would just turn this on anyway. Underneath my self, underneath my work area, I've got my uh, dollar store uh, cutting mats. I've got one down there and one up above so that when I move on, I can do that. Now, I was going to grab some Yupo paper, which I really love using. It's like the star of alcohol inks. But the last time... I had some Yupo paper, I accidentally heat embossed it, thinking it was a regular piece of paper and stamped all over it and then tried to heat emboss it and then I, it went like crazy, crazy warping. But, so I don't think I have any more, I couldn't find any of my stock. So, we're going to use the two other pieces of paper, that uh, types of paper that I use. I'm really sorry about the noise, but i got to keep this up. I'll put them under the table. There we go. Further away from me. Okay. I've got the two other types of paper that I use. One you're probably familiar with, and that is Kirkland brand glossy photo paper <clears throat> from Costco. And you don't put the ink on the glossy side because that's where the ink is supposed to go when you're printing your photographs. And that's where it grabs the ink and the ink stays put. Because you, when you think about it, when you're printing your photos, you want the glossy side up. So that's where ink uh, is supposed to go when you're printing, but when you're trying to do um, alcohol inks, you want the slippery side, which is the back, and it does not grab the inks as well. It does a little bit, but not like you would if you put, them on the put it on the glossy side. And you're going to be surprised by the other... Okay, can I stop now? This is torture. I don't even have a place to stand this up. I have not cleared enough space here for this to properly work, so don't bang them because they'll fall over. Air blower, brush to move stuff when I feel like I need to. Costco glossy photo paper turned over for the back. Now this, it's a very slippery piece, right? And Yupo paper is very slippery. And that's what we tend to come across when we're dealing with the alcohol inks is we know that the paper has to be very slick. You can do it on glass, uh, you can do it on um, ceramics, you know, any slippery surface, surface, any slippery surface. Now, so I was unpacking my magnet sheets from the dollar store, and I've also done this when you go to the dollar store and you buy stickers and they have that sheet backing. These are my magnetic sheets backing. I get these from the dollar store. can't remember how much they are. It's a sheet of magnet. It's just like a great size. comes in its own little piece of plastic that's pretty heavy so I just take this out and use it as a piece of paper and I get a piece of paper that I can use for my alcohol inks for a dollar something plus a magnet plus a bag. I'm going to use the back side of these for that, for this purpose. So let's start with what you traditionally would see people using unlike the UFO paper which I don't have and today I'm going to do things differently. I'm actually going to have paper towels handy instead of trying to use Kleenex. I'm going to try not to put any on my clothes. Let me just shake these again. Before I remove the lids and then it's a disaster. I'm choosing... Okay. I do not find it cutesy that they've named these things weird words. I want the thing to say what it is. Alchemy. I don't even know what that means. I don't think it means yellow. And if it does... Oh, well, I don't know that. This one says... I can't really... I've got my glasses on. Mineral. And it's like a copper. 
Can't you just say copper or brown? This one looks like mushroom colored. And then it says smolder. Oh goodness, I hate the names of these things. If somebody told me they used uh, splendor, I'd be like, oh, lovely. How am I supposed to know what that is? So I've got orange, gold, a pinky orange, uh, a brownie gold, it could be copper in there, yellow, and mushroom, it looks like to me. And that's what I'm working with today. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to lay down first. I have also beside me the night, um, some, uh, it's a bottle of Equate. I have another bottle up above on the shelf above me, way up there, that has a childproof cap. And this is an old bottle, it has no childproof cap. So this is the one I refill all the time because I want to be able to get into it pronto. I have my mini mister that's filled with alcohol and I've dedicated it so it has a piece of washi tape on there so I know that this is the one with the alcohol. I've got the alcohol blending solution beside me as well and then my windy thing and my brush. I got the Loft ones, Artist Loft brushes. They were really cheap at Michael's and I just used those for alcohol inks. So I don't have a little dish today so we're just going to lift this Ooh, the dog hair on it already. You guys. Pour a little bit of alcohol down to get my thing wet. I'm going to shake these while I'm doing it. Can't be bothered. Oh, it's so much work. So I can't really see it. It's got a little bit of color on it from my last project. <laughs> I figured that green or yellow would not matter too much to this project. So I don't really care. So I'm just laying that down doesn't have to be perfect just trying to get the majority of it covered this is really good for die cutting these little tiny thin pieces of paper backing are not great for die cutting just so you know you can die cut with it but it's like a very very flimsy piece of paper so keep that in mind if you're going to put the lid on Leah put it on fully there we go because if you shake it later I'm going to put down the gold for a second if you shake it later it's going to be a disaster. Here we're coming down with what could be copper. I don't know. Some crazy name on there. Ugh. There's a time to be cute and then there's a time to be just irritating. Okay. I'm not the best at this. But then you should see me ink blend. And if you did, you'll know I really am not the best at this. So I do all kinds of... Oh my goodness! This is so tight! To get this down... This is my ink blending one. That one I can stand over there without its lid because I'm not going to be shaking it. Though I might drop it, but I'm not going to be shaking it. So let's see what we can do with that. I think yellow would be good in there. Ah! There's going to be that frantic shaking going on today. Yes, there is. I might even throw some green in there because when you think... I'm making leaves, I forgot to tell you. When you think about leaves for fall, there's always that teeny tiny little bit of green that's still hanging around in the leaves. Just a little one. It's not going to be major. Well, you know, this stuff just spreads anyways. So. And I forgot to shake that one. I've got the, my hands are going like this because I'm still thinking I'm shaking. Ah! Oh my goodness. I gotta do this again. Oh, I. This is kind of a gray mushroom. I hate mushrooms, so it's a really good yucky gray color. I feel like when I'm eating a mushroom that I'm eating an eraser. And I don't know. Do I want to put this color down? I love this color in every project I do. But it's not a leaf-worthy project. Okay, moving on. Let's take this. Let's get this not working. Okay, so we need the thing here. Okay, so we're going to use our ink blending. You can see how it's kind of lumpy. That's what it is like when you're using the pearls. It can get lumpy. And you gotta kinda get something down there and get it moving. Ink blending solution. Very expensive item. Hard to get in Canada with this little tip, believe it or not. I wonder if this one was made for Canada. I don't think there's any French on here. Caution. First aid. Yeah, this is definitely shipped from, brought in from America. It's not one of the Canadian bottles. The Canadian bottles do not have these nice tips. 
which is very sad because you really need that so you can position it. When you don't have the tip, it's like blop across your page. Okay, so I'm going to come in with a brush because it's just what I want to do. I'm just going to hit some of those areas that aren't moving at all. I can always fix this. I just want to get a good coat and get things moving. There. I know it looked really pretty. Now look what I did. Oh well. This is generally how I work. It looks great. Let's wreck it. My hand sounded like a duck quacking. That's really weird. Okay, got a nice caramel going on here. Yeah. Okay, so let's throw down some of this. Make sure the lid's on, Leah. This gray, no, what is this? I don't know, gold. Let's get our gray thing out. Oh, is that a dog hair on there? Probably. Or a brush hair. Goodness. Let's keep those handy. Oh, is that another one or did I just put it back on there? Wiping it on my shirt. There we go. I did not have black on today, so who knows what this shirt's going to look like when I'm finished. Let's just put some of this down. I think I'm going to mist it with my alcohol to get some moisture out there. Find that the alcohol takes away, makes white. The other, the blender, tends to just expand or change the color. It doesn't completely erase the color. That is really ugly. That's the gray. Maybe we should just put the gray back in the box. Someone take the gray away from her. Oh. Mm, I should do some orange. Come on, come on. I don't like the speed. I like to move slowly and the speed of alcohol ink is just not my friend. Okay, now remember we're doing leaves. So let's think about leaves and what they look like. We have to drop some more green in there. Let's shake that one up again. Oh, was it that dark one or was it the light one? I don't know. Can't tell. Now it's time for some gold. Oh, I'm really glad that uh, the these bottles are no longer these childproof things. They're torture. When you're getting older and your hands just aren't as great as they used to be, they're really hard to get open in a hurry. I mean, and we're working in a hurry here. Don't be kidding yourself thinking this is a nice relaxing thing for me. Well, I am not relaxed. I see those women who put the thing down and it goes up. And they do their little blow and oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous flowers. How? Oh, I need a class. I watch the videos. I think I just don't have patience. Maybe this should be called, instead of all things cards, it should be the impatient crafter. <laughs> I really am impatient when it comes to this. Don't put it in the, in the inks. Okay? Try not. Okay. You're probably watching this going, stop, stop. You know, I watch those people, I think, oh, they've got it just perfect. And then they do something, and then it changes, and it's like, ugh. Now they've ruined it. Well, let's be that person today, huh? Make some of you spaz out. That's always fun. Okay, a little bit of ink blending. Boop -a doo Come on. Just can't get it on the paper. Who cares? Now we're going to pull it. See, it didn't make it white. You'll notice when you do it with um, the if I were to have just laid down some alcohol, it would go white, and it would just completely clear off the spot. This allows me to just blend and move. Oh, it's so hard to squeeze these. Even able to aim. Ooh, right there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, green. Let's bring some. Well, that was interesting. Uh, what was this one? I don't know. Copper? Brown? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I'm doing a green. I'm using the bright green. Just a little bit of bright green in that yellow. Just a little bit here and there. Just because I want my leaves to have a tinge of green on them for more realistic look of fall leaves. 
when you look around on the fall, look at the leaves. They got a little touch of green. Sometimes they've got a little bit of red. Maybe I should get the red out too. Shake that one up. Last time I did that, I had looked like I <coughs> cut my hand open, and it looked like blood was everywhere because I forgot to put the lid on when I shook it. <coughs> forgot to have the lid on fully. Oh goodness! I cannot squeeze and aim. This is not an old lady's craft, I tell you. Unless you got really good grip strength. Keep shaking. You forgot to keep shaking. Okay. So it's getting interesting. Not happy about the edges, but can we just not look at the edges for now? We're going to be die cutting. Out of this, we are not creating a background. We are die cutting. Can I remind you, this is a burgundy. Do they not have a red? And purples. Burgundy and purples. This is not helpful. Let's stir it up a little bit more. I want red. I would like a really good red, not a burgundy. I just want a tiny bit, just a teeny bit, teeny, there we go. It's an itsy bit spits. I just want a little bit on the leaf to have a bit of red on it, not a lot, just a little. Now, when I work with foils, I have like a tube of scrap foils. You know, the pieces that are left over that I can use. And the battery died, but it's better than the time we're running out. So when I have foil for projects that I'm working on, I almost remembered exactly what my sentence was. I have some spare stuff that I keep. So I'm going to grab that in a second. I brought everything else to this table, but I forgot that, so I do apologize for that. And I forgot the foil. Just get a little bit. Start with the half the paper because I'm not the fastest. Floppy one there. And yes, this is a very vibrant piece of paper, but I'm making leaves and they're tiny. They're really teeny tiny, so it should be very nice when it's done. And back over here. sit for a sec. Those edges, I really like the way the edge movement looks when you get the white bits part of it. I can't speak. You'll see. Okay. Here. Here. Let it kind of move around a bit. Get fully wet. Now I am going to take my spritzer, if I can find it. It should be looking right there. Okay, it's laying down. Okay, so my spritzer, very gently add a little bit because it will make, well, I don't know where I sprayed it, somewhere over there, oh, there it is. It will definitely lift and make like a blotchy, webby look, as long as I don't, that, now see, that's what I was not wanting to do, but we will just add some air, get your elbow out of the hand out of the way, there able to recover from that one. Thank goodness. 
We got a lot of solids over here. Just maybe a little splotch over here. Maybe where's a lot? I look for places with a lot of jagged edges because I like the softer edges. Come up above with my spritzer. Ah, same spot again. I'm pushing with all my might. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Okay, we will fix this side again. This is a very hard medium. You cannot. <laughs> How do people paint with this stuff? I don't know. I can't even get it to spray where I want it to spray. Very shiny. Now, a lot of that is the... That's all the alcohol pearl that's on there. Okay, let's let this sit for just a few minutes. While uh, that is sitting, I am going to go over and get my um, foil while you can look at the pretty thing that came in the mail today. Look at that. Can you see it? That is their little rhinestone things for cards. I got them for cards. I don't know what they were for nail art. You can get things on eBay for nail art. Let me see. Here's my garbage one. Look on eBay for nail art or AliExpress for nail art and you can get these teeny tiny little beads. I showed them before in my um, card, one of the card making videos I did. Oh, things are falling. Here's another batch. Aren't they cute? And they're in like light green, pink, purple, dark green, gold, red. I have a mixture there that I've made myself. Purple, baby blue, baby pink, dark blue. Come, it came in a little container. I can't find this particular set, but this is the most recent one I got. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see. I'll just do it really slowly because I know that that's how it works. Okay, very pretty. Got that delivered today. Now, here I have my deco foil. This is my scraps, okay? So I got a lot of different things in here, and I'm thinking gold would work well with this, not pink. So let's get some of mine that are. Like part, partly used, little scrappy bits. I use those. That. Now, let's see if we can get this. How are we at the point? We're either going to stick a bunch of alcohol ink on the bottom of this, or we're going to take the gold from this and put it on the project. I find it diff more difficult to use the ones where you have more holes at the beginning because it will just stick to the plastic. So I'm going to go with this one. Isn't that pretty? I did a piece of paper with that on it. That's so pretty. I know. People make cards out of these things. Well, where's that video? I don't have a clue. So, I will just use it for my project. Creates sometimes. See where these little dark dull lines are? Sometimes you can get them to follow those lines. And it creates a marbled effect. It also puts the ink on the back of this, but I don't care. I'm not worried about that. It's all the same to me on this project. If you don't want to do that, you can wait a little longer, but then you risk it drying too much and not accepting the foil. It's just like a happy medium somewhere in between wet and really dry. And inside there, you can get the damp little parts of the ink to pick up and pull out the um, foil because it just needs a little bit of tackiness to tear it off. Come on, you can pick it up. I hope you can see that. I'll try to catch the light on it. My eyes are bad so I can't really tell what you're seeing. I know, I keep saying my eyes are bad. I am trying to get to see a specialist, so it takes time here in Canada because it is free. So I have to wait until I get that call, and then hopefully someone will be able to help me to be able to see better. A couple of years ago I went to the optometrist to get my eyes checked because I was having difficulty with my right eye seeing, and the optometrist says to me, the lady says, well, you barely need a prescription, and so you're pretty good. You, don't, you, you should be fine. I said, but I can't see. And she said, well, there's nothing really I can do to help you with that. What is that? Oh, it's crazy. So I went, I waited, and I went, the next year I went to the place where I had my laser eye surgery, 
and I asked them to check it. They sent me to a retinal eye specialist, and he said that my retinas were fine. So the report goes back to them, and nobody contacts me. So London Eye Center, thank you very much for that. I appreciate the follow-up. And nobody has helped me. And so I thought, I need to get to see an ophthalmologist because I just can't take this anymore. I really want to see. Things are getting worse with my right eye. So I went back to my optometrist and before I went in, I phoned and I told them, please do not put any drops in my eyes until after you've tested them because moisturizing my eyes and then testing them is not how I normally see out of these two things. And I also said to the optometrist when I was in there, she said, oh, it's been a number of years since you were here. And I said, yes, because the last time I was here, you, I was told there was nothing you could do to help me. So I avoided you and I've tried other places and I'm back because I want a referral. So she actually, because I made such a stink, took the time to probably figure out what's wrong with the eye. So, hopefully, hopefully someone will help me soon. So this is the back of the Costco Kirkland Glossy Photo Paper. It's very pretty, very shiny, and very pretty. So I've got some greens, reds, oranges, browns, golds, and then I've got the foil sparkly on top of that. Okay, so let's just move that out of the way. This is going to be a mess to clean up later. But anyways, I wanted to get this out of the way so I can move on to other projects other than just making paper. I just make paper as I need it. I don't really do a whole series on making paper. So here we are with the um, magnetic sheets uh, backing. The ones from the dollar store stickers are really, really good because they're a thicker piece of paper than this. This is just really flimsy, but it works well. At least I've found. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to put down some moisture. Oh, I should have shaken some things. Could you shake those for me while I'm doing this? I'd really appreciate that. Let's work together here. What? You're too busy watching videos. That does not help. Okay. This is a thinner paper, so it does get wet. <coughs> like paper would. Oh, that deco thing's in my way. <sighs> okay. I know, it's so boring. But anyways, this is the, you know, why did I even try? That one, yellow. Goodness, there's just too much stuff here in my little tiny tub. And orange. Green is out here for moral support. The battery, dead battery, is there. Oh, I felt far, part of my arm going. Bruh, 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 bruh. I must have got some kind of rhythm going there. Oh, sorry about that. Whew, what a noisy mess. Okay, orange first, okay? Whew, try not to go off the edges, Leah. Makes a mess. You're lit up all the way, so you don't shake it all over your hands. Come on, keep going. You can do it. Okay. No splattering. I know, there are better ways to do this. And you can watch a video and see another better way to do it. But here I am, making paper. There are some people who think things are really complicated. I just, just, just go for it, okay? Just go for it. See how this one's softening now? Look at that, hmm. It's not even looking like some kind of crazed thing over here. 
Okay, let's go back to this one on the left for now. Tiny little drops of green, please. I was going to say butter, but that does not work. And then I was going to say water, but that wasn't it either. I figured at some point I'd get to the word I wanted, which was green. Okay, got to get the gold out and the... Uh, that other one. I'm going to take my blending solution while I'm shaking and bacon. See, that one's not doing too great over here, but that's okay. I'll add some of this to it, and we'll see what it does. There we go. It's probably just too dry. <sighs> Where's my blowy thing? As we add ink, that bottom layer is going to come up anyways. Here's some gold. Oh, pretty gold. Gold is very thick, though. Very thick. I see people have it in such beautiful little tiny lines, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. And I'm not the best. May not be the worst, but I'm not the best, that's for sure. I'm the frantic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm losing viewers by the minute. Okay. Paper on the side of the table is just like going, where am I going? I'm blowing around. Not trying to replicate each one exactly the like, just trying to lay down color. And a little mister filled with alcohol itself. I'm going to go heavy on this right one because I really want to pick up that background, get it moving. If I were making a background for a card, I would be doing this differently. I am not. I'm just making some patterned paper, pretty paper, to die cut. Either with letters, words, or leaves. That's the project of the hour. Tends not to be moving that back stuff. Well, that's interesting to know, isn't it? I think it needs a little green on this left one, the right one. <laughs> My other left. Got no greens over here. And that's what we'll do to the outer edge. Just add some green to it. It'll look kind of like the leaf had some kind of life to it beforehand. Before I got done with it. <laughs> Just to get it moving. Helps if you could aim. I mean, man, these bottles are fun, but they just don't aim at all. Oh, now it's all over my hand. But oh well. Who's talking? I'm not talking. <laughs> I just realized I haven't said anything for a while. Concentrating. He's not cooperating. I don't know. I tried that other green that's in here, the darker green. It's called Envy. I don't envy it. It just always makes my projects look terrible. It's an awful, for me, it's an awful green. I really don't like it. It kind of just makes everything muddy. And that's not the way I want to go generally. Not everything has to be liked by everybody. Not everything is perfect. There's always room for improvement, isn't there? Why do I have to pretend to like something I don't like? Why do I have to not say anything if I don't like it? I don't like the green. There, you got it? I'm allowed to not like things. 
Aren't I? Yeah, everyone's allowed to not like something. You might not like one of these colors in here. That doesn't mean you're not allowed to tell me. Maybe you don't like the yellow. Maybe you wish it was more of a lemon yellow instead of a dandelion yellow. I don't like that green because it makes things look muddy after a while when I use it. I added some more gold and put in a little bit of some blending solution there. Come on, move people, move, spread. Okay, I think we will, this one is almost dry, which is deadly because we want to add some foil. So let's see if we can get some foil on this. I really do not have any good pieces of foil. Here's one. <laughs> Nothing happened. These inks do not pick up the foil like the other alcohol inks do, non-pearl ones. They really, they really are just pick it up. So we'll just leave that for a little bit longer. Uh, it was a Batman I did. Isn't that cute? Printed off Batman off of the internet on using a laser printer onto a white sheet and then I gold foiled it. Just for fun. My son likes Batman. I don't know if I can use it, but I just thought it'd be fun to do. Okay, this is too wet or too dry. <laughs> I can't get it to do anything. So let's just wing these around a little. Why don't we just admire them? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, okay. See? Just a piece of trash, right? That's a big, huge piece. Yep, you, yapo. Yupo paper is like $14 for 10 sheets. That's a dollar fourteen dollar forty per page. So with tax. So why not use whatever paper you can? Get your hands on. Saves you some money. So you can buy more craft supplies. Yeah. Let's try this one on here. I don't think it's gonna work because it looks really wet on this one. Just ran my finger through it. Oh, I picked up some. Let's keep going. Picking up more over here. Get out of the way. You could use a clean sheet of your gold foil, but I prefer just to use my scraps because I think it's a great use for the scraps. That I smeared all over the place, but that's okay because that created an interesting look as well. Sometimes it'll transfer the color, and I like that look too. I'm not painting a horse or anything. It's fancy. I'm not doing anything. I'm making background papers. <sighs> Eight minutes left on this video. Come on. You can do it. Have you seen enough? Can I go now? Can I go home now? I will make something. I will cut out the leaves. I'm getting so tired of leaves. <laughs> I probably will not do another leaf card for the rest of the year after I finish these projects. Because that'll be it. For someone who likes to jump around from project to project, doing the same thing day in and day out is just no, no fun at all. I think I need a cup of tea too. But haven't I already had two or one cup already today? Oh, just makes you have to go to the bathroom. So I kind of, it's not a lot of fun. Up the stairs to the washroom. Do you ever watch those uh, house shows where people are touring those houses and you're looking at those people and you're thinking, are you crazy? <laughs> I watch those shows a lot because I like to get inspired and it's kind of an art form too to take something that's really awful and make it beautiful. And that'll never be my house, but I cannot believe the mentality of people these days that we've gone from enjoying what we have and working hard for what we have to expecting to being entitled to what the rich and wealthy have always had which is beautiful furnishings beautiful kitchens beautiful bathrooms sure if you're going to do it yourself that's fine but nobody is entitled to a beautiful bathroom and you can't some of these women can't survive 
if they don't have a bathroom each for every child and a bedroom each for every child. Because I grew up, raised my kids in a two bedroom home with one bathroom. Years and years later, when they were, one was a teenager, I think, we got a bathroom downstairs and fixed up the basement so he could have his own bedroom. But the three of us shared a home with one bathroom and it wasn't even on the main floor. Can you imagine that? Oh my goodness. I had to go upstairs and I had to share it with all my guests. Can you just imagine? That's how life is for the average person. These people who can't share their bathrooms with their guests. Uh, what is that? What do you got in there? It's crazy. It's just a bathroom. Whatever's in there, people are expecting to see because you know what? It's a bathroom. This one's not going to accept anything. It's kind of really dry. I just, I just rant at the TV sometimes. The ungratefulness and the expectations of these people. It's just crazy. Anyways, I don't know how we ever survived our home the way we did. Oh boy. And I grew up to have two wonderful children, two young men who look after their families, great citizens of God. Well, that can be done on a two-bedroom home with one bathroom. Imagine it. Crammed into a galley kitchen together. They now know how to move around a kitchen without banging into anyone. They are very adept at getting through around that kitchen and aware of their spatial whatever it is. They aren't banging into each other. We never really banged into each other. There's no reason to. You just make it work. Okay. Goodness. So we've got our Kirkland photo paper here. We have, excuse me, our magnetic sheets paper, which created some lovely paper as well. One took to the foil better than the other, but that's only due to my timing. Look at the shine on that. Try not to blind you, but it is really pretty. And then I'll take these, I'll cut them up. These ones are just too big, I think, or just fit, or just too big for the big kick. I can't remember. Let's see, what's the width on this? Six inch. So it might be just the size. Another one, and three. Using alcohol inks, pearl alcohol inks, by Ranger. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, making of paper. Well, now I'm going to be cutting it up and then I'm going to be making cards and I'll be making videos of that too over the next few days. I am going to move on to another project, I hope, by the weekend because I feel like I've been locked in this project. Trapped. Okay, trapped is a better word. In this project with these leaves and these papers. As much as I want to share with you, I really should plan ahead better because I don't do well crammed into one topic. Okay, thank you for watching. This has been Leah with All Things Cards. Please visit us on Facebook. Please like and share. No, like and subscribe. Or you could share this with your crafty friends. That would be really nice. Never thought of that before. Visit us on Instagram at All Things Cards. I haven't posted for a few days because I've been editing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, there will be a link on where I made alcohol uh, distressed ink paper and made these leaves. This is the distressed ink paper that I made and I cut out some leaves. Then I also have a link to where I made some Nouveau shimmer powder paper and cut out leaves. And then this is kind of hard to read right now, hard to see. This one is a brown piece of paper that I made just because I needed some acorns and a little wreath. So I'll put a link to that. Oh my goodness, they're probably not all going to be together because the software says don't link these things so closely together. I will spread them out. Sorry. And this one is where I made alcohol ink before. I don't have a video for this, but these leaves were made with alcohol, alcohol, alcohol ink and uh, cut out. This was on... Well, it pro I don't know what it was on. Could be Upo paper because on the back here it doesn't look like the photo paper. 
and it doesn't look like these kinds of papers, so I'm not sure what that is. It could just be some lining for some sticker <laughs> package that I had. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we shall see where this goes. I'm not promising you anything. May God richly bless you. Bye-bye. Hello, I just die cut all those leaves. Look at the paper. Shiny paper. Now that was like the one of the two uh, backing sheets that I used. And if you can recall, this is the one with the swirls that didn't actually, couldn't actually get rid of those swirls. You can see them here. And you can hear them here. But shall we take a look at the leaves? Shall we look at these? leaves. Didn't I tell you they'd be fantastic? I don't know. I thought I did. I told you my paper might look like a piece of yuck yuck, but and there's one of the ones can you see it? That was along the edge, along where the white was. I blew it out to the side. But I really like those ones. There's another one with some white. Let's see here. There's another one. This is one that was out by the edge, and it got just a little bit of a sh shimmer of something there, and then the orange. There are some that are covered with wax paper. Peel off the wax paper if you use that. I did that at the beginning because, and then I can't tell sometimes if there's wax paper on it or not. I think this one has a piece of wax paper on it, but I'm going to give up right now. Let's see, this one has got wax paper and that's what it looks like. Okay, this one does not. So when it's wet, a little bit wet, my paper, I will put down a little bit of wax paper, but then I find as soon as I start moving along down the paper, that wax paper gets in my way. Excuse me, boss, you have a text message. Why, thank you. Okay, so here are my first batch of leaves. I'm only going to do one batch. I'll keep the other papers for when I need them. I don't need that many leaves. And who knows, I might come across something that... This one little maple leaf here, he lost his stem. And I took him out, so he can go somewhere where he can hide. So I'll keep the paper for another project in the future. Oh, this is very pretty, the lightness. This is how I... Uh, you can't quite see it, Leah. Put it in the screen. Over here, you can see I've got my four uh, leaf dies. One, two, three, four. And I just move it up the page. This one I turned around because I wanted to get, I figured all the light, all these little leaves over here were so light, I wanted to get a light maple leaf and a dark oak leaf. So I moved it, turned it that one time. What do you think? Do you like the leaves? Aren't they beautiful? Are they pretty? Yeah. They're very pretty. I know they're pretty. Who are we kidding? We know they're gorgeous. They have little tiny flecks of gold on them here and there. Some have variation for dark to light. This one looks almost all gold with a little bit of orange. This one's got some green. See what I mean by adding just a touch of green? when you do your leaves because then you, you can kind of a, rea a real look to your leaves so I hope you enjoyed this I'll make a card out of these they're so pretty uh, have a great day and thank you for watching bye bye